all right guys so been trying to do a lot of uh video um uh, making videos and stuff but it's just been very difficult with ever being everybody being at home um you know we we're considered as essential so you know we've been coming out here and working working and working uh, um so that that's that's a good thing uh bad thing um it's a half and half it's um everybody's home you know i don't really like doing work when everybody's home because you know a lot of times they get in your way or they want to talk or you know but but sometimes it's it's also beneficial to have everybody at home because the neighbors they, they see you working everybody's watching you working and you know it's a good time to impress people you know is you know uh, I say dotting your I's and crossing your T's, you know what I mean? Everybody's seeing you doing your work, doing your detail. You know, a lot of these people, you know, they, they're they not home during the weekend. They're home on the weekends. And, when, you know, when you, no one's cutting grass or when you're not on your properties on the weekends, you know, they don't see you. So this is a good way to to actually meet a lot of new neighbors and stuff. And especially this, in this development, um, you know, you got a lot of new people moving into this neighborhood. I thought I, had, I do <laughs> grass. Yep. <laughs> so, you know, so you know, and, and one of the things, you know, everybody's walking, riding bikes, and all. And you know, and w w my biggest, um, I say, marking, I guess you could say, is waving at people, um, telling people hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You know, yeah, small, small talk. You know, that that's you know that's my best way of marketing. You know, especially. When you you're trying to grow in one neighborhood, when you're trying to grow in one neighborhood, you know it's just what I like to say: uh, respect the neighborhood. You know, meaning follow the you know don't don't be going too fast in, on the roads. You know, you know take your time, enjoy enjoy the neighborhood. You know, look at the houses, look at the landscaping. You know, you see people walking, wave at them. You know, I have real dark tinted windows, so sometimes I like to roll mine down so people can see me. You know, wave at them. You know, say hi. You know, when they're running, walking, whatever. But um, yeah, and another one. You know, when you see when the guys are working around the, the streets or the sidewalk. You know, one of the things I, I tell them is stop. When you see them coming, you know, about a hundred feet or so. Yeah, about a hundred feet or so. You know, just stop. Just you know, move out the way. Stop your blowing. And, you know, let them pass you by. And you know, people respect that. People, you know, they appreciate that. You know, one last thing you want to do is be running and somebody's blowing and then all that dust as you're running and sweating, you know, it, it's all on you. And so, so, you know, that's one thing I tell my guys is just, you know, respect the people, respect the neighborhood. And, um, yeah, so, so that's one thing we'll do. Um, and, yeah, so, you know, guys, it's a little yipping and yapping, a little tips in there, but... I gotta get back to work, guys. All right, see you in a bit.
that's a port of carpet's wall. <laughs> you know, you just trim just a little off the size, they say. That's how everybody's haircut's gonna be when they go to the, when guys go, go get to the barber shop. But yeah, a little off the size, they're gonna be cutting off a crap load of hair. But yeah, you can't be afraid to trim. Don't be afraid to cut back. All right, guys. So these magnolias, they used to be full to the ground, <laughs> but the deer they come, and they you can see where they stop eating. So they eat to about right here. Same thing over here and that one. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be cutting all these lower branches out because there's no need for them to be there. So and it make it look a little cleaner. Let's get to it. Well guys, the camera fell, so <laughs> it got me started, but it didn't show me finishing it. But it's real simple. See, got all, you know, cutting all that out. So instead of having all these little sticks sticking out, you know, there it is. Got your garden. Same thing here, the garden right here, the, the derby, you know, all the way to there. See the deer love the gardenias. All right, guys. So we're wrapping up these three properties here. So property number one is complete. Property number two is complete. So next week we're going to be raising up this here. That looks nasty. The I forgot what those are called. Crepe myrtles. Other nasty, uh, so so we got all this trimmed up, trimmed up, got this trimmed up. And then, so next week I want to clean out the filling dinners. I'm, I'm going to make a video on cleaning those out. <laughs> up, up. And then what we got here, we got some, we installed this earlier this week, some Angelonians mix. Yeah. So to see the deer have came, they tasted them. And I was a little short, got two trays I need to add here. But man, they look nice. And then up against the house, we have. Let's come over here. Sun and patience. See how they do. I'm gonna add some more here, put in that space. But those should do good. Hedges, hedges, hedges. So house number two is done. So we got house number three over there. That one's done. So, well guys, I'm not gonna walk away because we still gotta go to the next property. So, all right. So this house is nice and trim. Got that nice and flat. Got the pines there. Cut back the hollies a lot. Just to shape them up. That one over there. So we're gonna try to get these palms trim and that should be it oh yeah we took all the flowers out here it's time for some new ones so let's see what we can do so this is our smallest property and 
see this one has a lot of edges. So you got the Duranthus Gold Mound. This yellow plant here. You have the Purple Tabachina, one of my favorite plants. You have your boxwood. You have your portocarpus. You have your, um, I think, I forgot the name of this. I want to say it's an Italian cypress. Um, not sure. It's funny because the deer will eat all that. The deer will eat that. They eat the Duranthus. And if I see it, I take care of my stuff. So the deer don't touch it. <laughs> oh, also I want to show you all something. So the way I trim these crepe mirrors, I, you know, I cut them around. But I want to show you the difference between mine. See, so this is mine, and that one's mine. And just show you the difference on this. See how this one here is small, and then mine's like big. So you know, this is the difference. Like you see that one over there. Um, uh, that one there. They 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 cut them real real small. So. So you got this. Hedge it all the way around. This is Florida, guys. Florida. I got that view. Got the golf course. You got the inside. You got your drift roses here, your Lord Prism there, your confetti jasmine here, bogan video there. So I'm thinking we're gonna call the new guy Bullet. Watch this. Hey Bullet. Bullet. Yeah, see? Yeah. I think he likes the name Bullet. <laughs> so you got edges all the way down here. See there? That's Florida for you guys. Edges all the way around the house. Alright guys, so I'm in the truck. It's starting to warm up out here. I'm letting the guys finish up. They're, you know, passing the blower real quick around the property, uh, double checking things. Um, that's actually one of my smallest properties. You see, it has a lot of hedges. I'm just, uh, that's on, on the smallest property. But real quick, guys, you see that house right there? Okay, so remember I tell y'all to, you know, always, you know, just say hi, you know, just like I said, respect the neighborhoods, you know, say hi, say, uh, I say, say hi, you know, small talk, whatever. So anyways, I'm trimming, right? I'm trimming that hedge and she pulls up, it's a woman, she pulls up, she she has like a lawn, a lawn, a big, nice lawn chair in the back of her car, right? And I see her trying to take it out and I see, you know, a little struggling a little bit. So I just ask her, I say, hey, you need some help with that? And she just looked at me and she goes, oh man, yes, thank you. You, uh, that, you know, yeah, this and that. So anyways, so I, I take it up. It's not heavy, so I, I, I pick it up and I take it to the back where, by the pool where she wants it. But so we're just talking for a little bit. And next thing you know, you know, so that's one of her properties. She has two more properties in, in the same in the same area. Um, so I'm going to be doing an irrigation check on that one. I'm going to be doing an irrigation check on two on her other two properties. And in all all and all it took, guys, for me to say, hey, do you need some help? That's how it was. That's all it was. And then earlier, at, uh, when I was doing the three properties, next to the property number one, their, their irrigation system came on. And one of the heads was like tilted. One of the rows was tilted and it was going into the street. And so I, I put a flag there and and uh, I went up to the house. I knocked on it, you know, just, just to let them know that one of their irrigation heads was, was messed up. Um, but no one came to the door, so it's cool, you know, I understand. 
and we're not even supposed to be doing that. But I did call the the the, the guardhouse, and I told him, hey, you know, I give him the address. I go, hey, one of the sprinklers, uh, I just let them know that uh, I meet Moreno's Landscape, Jake or Moreno's Landscape. I put a flag out there because I know that one of the sprinkler heads wasn't. It was shooting into the street, and it was uh, cock sighted. So you know. So just let them know, and if they want me to come out there and check it, you know, just, you know, tell me, give me a call. If not, you know, because they have their own long guy, so more likely they'll have their long guy um, take a look at it. But, you know, it, it you know, it's just, I'm in the neighborhood, you know what I mean? Um, everybody knows me, especially now that everybody's been home. You know, everybody, um, you know, they they see me, you know, and they see the houses I'm taking care of. And it's like this lady here, she goes, she goes, if you're, you know, she goes, I see you've been doing that house for a while now. I'm like, yeah. She goes, uh, man, you must be really good, cause those people are are really picky. I go, well, I didn't I didn't even know they were that picky. We're, you know, everything's been going pretty smoothly. So stuff like that, guys. And, and I guess that's how it is with most of my accounts. You know, some are, are considered as divas. <laughs> uh, you know, real real high maintenance people. So, but anyways, guys, that's just that's the way it is. But so don't be scared, you know, just to say hi, you know, hey, you need some help. So I thought that was pretty cool. I thought I'd share that with y'all because, you know, that's part of business. You know, we got to sell ourselves. So, all right, I got one. I got the bullet. Guess see, see. All right. So when you stop at that stop sign, you look over here and these just pop. All the way, you know. So you get a lot of people asking if the deer eat on me, and I'll be like, only they don't eat them because I'm taking care of them. <laughs> but all right. So look at the hedges. So bam, look at that. Look at that hedge lines up with that border and goes down right there. That, sorry. Got some more tabachina here. Got some um, variegated ginger. So tab this tabachina is gonna go where it covers about as high as there. And yeah, so this will fill up. Same thing on this side. So, and then you have your purple bougainvillea. It's coming back. Got hit pretty good with the cold, but it's coming back. So. Install this these uh, three to five inches boulders. <laughs> Look right here, boom! Somebody already hit it with the mower or something. Anyways, that looks pretty good. I like how that came out. I like the idea of having the border on the outside and then the mulch on the inside. For one, it keep that mulch from washing out. But. So, all right. And then we have bears back here. I love to tear up all these plants. See, they love the, the bird of paradise. Yeah. 
edge from here all the way down there which is here well this is our last house guys all right guys we're calling it a wrap uh, the guys are finishing up doing the final touch-ups but this is going to be our last property and so thank y'all guys for watching like comment subscribe if you ain't subscribed subscribe i uh, hope there was some information in here that was it's beneficial to y'all and guys i just appreciate y'all watching and and just <laughs> commenting and all that guys but anyways i'm just i'm tired i'm just yabbing and yibbing and yabbing well <laughs> stay strong and stay focused in the mighty name of jesus christ peace out